in previous lectures we have seen the introduction to 8086 microprocessor some block diagram details of 8086 microprocessor such as details of execution unit in execution unit we have seen there are different types of resistors after that alu and control logic available for execution in further details we have seen the pin diagram and all the pin descriptions of 8086 microprocessor now we are going to see one of the important concept of 8086 microprocessor that is memory segmentation now for that as we know 8086 has a 20 bit address bus so from this 20 bit address bus it can able to address 1 megabyte of memory now how this 1 megabyte of memory can be addressed 2 raised to power 20 that is in the format of bit we can have 1 megabyte of memory so 1 mega is comes out to be 2 raised to power 20 now what do you mean by segmentation is this whole 1 megabyte of memory which is physical memory is divided into the number of logical segments logical segment means it is dependent upon the how the data is being stored in the memory the segments are being made now from this 806 segmentation 806 can able to work only 464 kilobytes of segment at a time within this 1 megabyte of memory range so as the 1 megabyte of memory available to 806 only 64 such segment can be used because of the segmentation which is being available in 806 microprocessor now which are these segments are core segment stack segment data segment and extra segment so these are nothing but logical names of the segments which are being made for defining this segments now we are going to see how this looks now in this diagram we have shown that 1 megabyte of address range and its addresses how the addresses are being represented now for this example we have seen the first address is nothing but 00000h that is hexadecimal and ending address is ff ff fh that is ending address is the last ff ff fh now from this there are 16 segments are, are being made which are being represented as 1 to 16 so maximum if we consider 64 kilobyte of memory then we can have this 64 kilo bytes of each segment so we can have this much segment without overlapping but apart from that if we make the overlapping we can have the number of different segments also so we can have the more than 16 segment but at a time we can use only four segments so each segment is being of the size 64 kilobyte and as we have discussed only four such segments can be addressed at a time so among this from 1 to 16 in our example we have seen 4 5 6 7 segments can be used for our programming purpose now this segments are being defined on the basis of what is being stored in this segments now what are the names of this segments are core segment data segment extra segment and stack segment now we are going to see what are its use why we are going to see the details of this segments and what is being stored in this segments so first is core segment as it is defined it is a part of memory from where bus interface unit is currently fetching an instruction code byte now the program consisting of different number of instructions and that instructions are being defined or map represented in the bytes so all these bytes of the instructions are being so stored in the code segment so whatever the instruction or whatever the program contains which are being fetched by the bus interface unit that are being stored in the code segment second is stack segment now stack segment is a section of a memory set aside to store addresses and data while sub programs executes now sub programs means in the execution of main program or in the system we are we are not having only a single program running at a time 
at a time we can uh, depending upon the requirement of the different hardware different number of programs executed so in between this now let's say the main program is being running just now and its address is being stored in one of the registers we named it as a instruction pointer now in this case if in between the main program some another program need to be executed or some another hardware need a service so at that time that hardware service program is being written into the some another address now what happens in in this case the main program is being halted for some time after that microprocessor runs the second program again after completing the second program it come back to the main program now how it is how it happens actually so for that purpose the addresses of this main program and the second program are being used so let's say uh, in this case main program is being executed for some time the last instruction which is being executed of the main program is being stored into the some memory locations after that the second program is executed in a sequential manner and after that when the second program is completed the processor needs to come back to the main program again now how it come back by using the address which I, which it has stored into some memory location and that memory location where it has stored that address temporarily that is called as stack segment so stack segment is nothing but the collection of memory range for storing different types of addresses and data that is for temporary purpose so in the same way as we have seen the example of storing the addresses we can store the temporary data also in between the sub programs lastly we are having data segment and extra segment now in the program we manipulate some data or we process some data now where this data is being stored that data is stored in the either data segment or extra segment okay so as it is being defined it is used for storing the data values to be used in the program so whatever the data provided to the instructions that are being provided from the data segment and apart from that when we are requiring some more data and when we are requiring a sequence of the data at that time the extra segments are being used so basically data segment and extra segments are used for the storing some data and the speciality of extra segment is whenever we are using that segment in the string type of data